hope you guys are having a beautiful day. How to feel emptiness. So some of you know what emptiness feels like. It feels like a hollow or void that you can't get rid of. And no matter how hard you try, it is still there. Hi, my name is Samantha and welcome back to my channel. So I thought this video would be very helpful for um, some of you. So I felt an intuitive need to share some of my knowledge about emptiness. So emptiness is created through pushing away something that needs your loving attention. So especially if somebody goes through a lot of trauma or pain, oftentimes it will try to integrate or try to get you to heal it. So essentially, um, when it is too painful, we tend to want to ignore it or push it away. This will create space and in turn, this is emptiness. So um, this is where addiction um, and loneliness comes into play because um, emptiness doesn't want to feel alone. Nothing in life wants to feel alone. So um, in order to have a positive, uh, I guess, association with emptiness or to have a positive motivation to try to limit feeling the emptiness, it's all about the well-being of ourselves and trying to make ourselves feel better, we go to lengths to try to not feel it. So this is where drugs, alcohol, sex, watching too much TV, um, porn addiction, gambling, um, addiction to love, relationships, anything to try to fill the void or the emptiness. So oftentimes it works for a while and then it doesn't work anymore because you're not actually meeting the needs of the em emptiness or the void. So in order to feel emptiness, you will have to essentially feel what it is that you are pushing away. So this um, will involve being very present with your pain. It will be involve being very present with yourself. And this will also involve steps to self-love. So at the end of the day, you either have self-love or you don't. Self-love is going to be the basis of all of your relationships. Um, your relationships with food, what kind of jobs you pick, um, where you end up living, or um, what kind of friends you hang out with. These are all the basis of self-love. So, in my opinion, self-love is, is go what's going to fill up the void or the emptiness. Um, so, oftentimes we are afraid to uh, face our own emptiness or our own pain or that hollowness feeling is because we associate feeling with negativity. Like we associate um, feeling anything as a way that is something that's really negative or something that doesn't serve us. So we try to just throw the baby out with the bathwater and just decide that you just don't want to feel at all. So you will go to lengths not to feel anything because you feel that it's a trigger. Each emotion that is presented to you or how you feel is very valid and you are have 100% reason to feel that way. So instead of ignoring it and it get bigger and um, you develop some sort of addiction or um, you end up going uh, running away from yourself, you essentially have to what a lot of psychology uh, fields say is coming back to yourself. So this will involve identifying what it is that you don't want to face or what it is that you don't want to be a part of you and meeting that need or basically coming back to that part. So this will involve a lot of feeling a much more of a connection with yourself and you also will have to identify what it is that you don't want. So instead of um, saying, I don't want to fill my void with some sort of addiction, but what do I want to fill it with that is much more positive and beneficial in my life? So um, I did do a video titled Developing Self-Trust, and it is basically a video on how to uh, develop self-trust um, after addiction. So if you guys are interested, you can definitely take a look at that if you would like. Um, 
So I hope this video was helpful for you guys and um, at the end of the day, you have self-love and it will always be there. People tend to um, associate drinking or drugs or uh, sex or pornography or um, shopping too much as a kind of like a coping mechanism or a friend. Um, the, the thought behind it is, is well, I don't have self-love, but at least I have the drink, or at least I have um, my shopping experience, or at least I have um, someone to see uh, later on tonight, or someone that, um, you know, I don't, that makes me feel like I don't have to be in my feelings. Like, that's the thought behind every single addiction, and so instead of just basically um, trying to numb it and it getting bigger and not serving you anymore. Self-love is going to be the healing part of it and to be able to lovingly face your own pain um, that it will very much help the hollowness and emptiness. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys and I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you on my next video. Bye!